Well, it's a very somber day in Colorado as the state patrol remembers the life of a Colorado state trooper that left too soon. Jamie Jerzevich was killed on November 15th when she was helping another person on I-25. Investigators say she was hit and killed by a drunk driver. Hundreds of police officers, sheriff's deputies, fellow troopers, friends and family gathered to remember her today. KRDO News Channel 13's Dana Molina is live in Englewood now at the church where the funeral just wrapped up and Dana had to be a very emotional scene. Very emotional, John and Bonnie. There were some heartbreaking moments during the service in which you could just see people wiping away their tears. There were some funny moments, too, though, in which we really got to learn more about Trooper Jurcevic's personality. Everyone who shared stories of her said she had a fiery personality. They talked about her dedication to her family at home, her husband and daughter, as well as her family in blue. Right now, you are taking a look at the entrance of this, the church where you can just see hundreds of people filing out many of them in uniform here. Today, law enforcement agencies from around the country are here to honor her memory. And those law enforcement members escorted her uh, to the funeral this morning. Speakers at the funeral service are celebrating her life and service. We heard from many people, from a family friend, supervisors, people who worked with her. Even Governor John Hickenlooper spoke at the funeral saying Trooper Jurcevic embodied what it means to be a servant of our state. She gave every ounce of herself to her family at home and her family in uniform. And this is not only a tremendous loss for her families, but for all of Colorado. And people who knew Jurzevic shared touching stories about her. We heard about her passion to catch the bad guys, her love of animals, and, and her compassion. Uh, some, some people at the funeral, the chaplain, spoke about these stories. She, he wants people to go online to share more memories of her so that when her eight-month-old daughter grows up, she can grow up, she can read about these stories, and she can learn about who her mom was. We will, of course, have many more of these stories from family and friends coming up uh, later throughout the newscast. For now, Reporting in Englewood, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13.